Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today we're doing a build and gameplay for Sabretooth. Now, I want to take the character, of course, eventually to tier 2, but before I do that, I do think it's important to see what the character looks like at year 15, 6 stars, because that is the kind of top level that you'll be able to recruit him at if you just get his purchase once, the, the 15, the 2500 crystals once, and you don't invest anything else. So despite the fact that tier one characters kind of don't have a really good spot in Marvel Future Fight besides Shadowland, um, I do want to just see and just test out how far he can go just at tier one, just so you guys have a small idea before we go crazy and max him out. Because he appears to be a very strong character from all of the reports that I'm getting. A lot of players are happy taking him to level 70, throwing super premium CTPs on him because he is outperforming their wildest expectations. So I wanted to get that little glimpse of information before we go ahead and kind of uh, pop the, the ultimate uh, upgrade that you can't really take back. Now we got him ranked up in terms of his uh, level a little bit. Um, just by playing through different content. I think we have to go to 85 here. I don't know. I don't know how this works. We, I haven't done it from, from this level. Uh, let's just, yeah. I don't, I don't know how many chips I need, to be honest. We're just going to, you know what, just to save time. I know this is wasting chips, but I have a lot. So we're going to get him to level 60. We're going to get the mastery completed as well. Mastery tickets and mega mastery tickets are best used on the uh, X-Men and, and mutants because you don't waste the Mcron shards, which you have a limited amount of. So if you have these red tickets, definitely my advice to you is save them for those types of characters. And Sabretooth uh, is, is building quite a... Oh, I don't have any? No! I have to waste 180 now. Okay, fine. I don't have any six-star mastery tickets. Sure. So we got the mastery done. We got the level done. Now we're going to bring his gears immediately up to 15, and that's going to cost us, you know... About a million gold and gear up kits and dimension debris, but that's not bad. This is a quick uh, upgrade. Um, and we're going to actually see from 15 to, to, to 20. I've heard rumors that using the regular upgrade is actually saving people bios versus auto upgrade. I don't think that's the case. I think it's just RNG, but we will explore it. Now, we can't uh, in amplify his Uru yet, so I am going to skip putting Uru on him, but that is... One way, if you're if you're mostly impressed with my build for, for Sabretooth and you have similar cards or you can take into account my cards and my raid level and my valor, uh, then this would be one way that you could kind of exceed my build for the time being if you want to get Sabretooth but you don't have the crystals to throw down or you want to save them for endgame and you just want to play around with a 6-star gear 15 Sabretooth for now. As far as his gears or as far as his skills go, we don't want to level up Scratching Upper. I got to say, holy crap. Scratching Upper, you guys couldn't think Scratching Lower? Could you think of a worse name than Scratching Upper? I I don't know. The Bleed is not really important, so Lethal Nail does not need to be leveled up. Terrible Roar definitely needs to hit level 6 because it's got a 100% chance to uh, give him immunity for 4 seconds. You got the Incapacitation, you got the 25% All Attack, 5% All Speed, 25% Crit Rate. So he can basically, you can cap his Crit Rate at 50% because... I don't believe he has crit rate from any other effects. Uh, yeah, he's got crit damage. So that's really nice. You only have to build him kind of like Sharon Rogers. You only have to go to 50%. And I'm already at 43, which is insane. He's very easy. Oh, you know what? We've got all these team-up bonuses. That was a lie. Excuse me. How much are we at now? 33. Okay, so we're still, you know, 17% away. But that's not very far uh, to go. Uh, Fierce Attack, I think we can also just keep it at uh, level 3 because it doesn't really have any good effects. And then Brutal Hunt, we do want to go higher because of the chance to penetrate. We go from 40 to 60% chance to penetrate, which is decent, uh, and it's his fifth skill. Now, once we get him to tier 2, we're going to get crit damage, so keep that in mind. You don't want to go above 175 because otherwise you'll be over the cap. So you can give him a CTP of energy if you're going for energy with low crit damage. That is kind of my tip for you. So I have one here that has 28% crit damage and I have one here with 42. Definitely the 28 might seem worse even though it's a 200 proc. But in this case it will be better for uh, Sabretooth. It will be more synergistic because you're not going to go over the cap. And as you can see I'm only at 166. Um, but keep in mind... That once you get into 
you know, getting out, filling out his Uru and things like that, you will uh, get a higher. And of course, once I get him to tier two, that 166 is going to jump up to what is that, 191. Um, so then we'll be very, very close. And with just a few Uru, we'll be able to max it out. You won't get crit damage from his ISO weight set if you build it properly, because you definitely want to go with Power of Angry Hulk. Uh, he needs the attack speed. Uh, he doesn't, he, I mean, it's, it seems like he got enough because I had the team of bonuses, but actually he's only at 125% right now. He does give himself a small 5% all speed buff, but it's only 5%. So you definitely want to hit that last 5% uh, there to hit the cap. And then the rest can go into, but it should be quite easy for you to cap his crit rate and his crit damage. The ignore defense and the skill cooldown are like the worst parts here. He doesn't seem to have cooldown from any of his gears. That's why it's so low. I noticed it's at 43%. So you definitely want to roll his fourth gear without a uniform uh, to skill cooldown. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to give him skill cooldown Uru. And it's probably better to give him ignore defense Uru. So definitely roll that one of course if you have some bios for him roll up the healing factor first because it'll give ignore defense and skill cooldown and recovery rate if you roll the fourth gear that way so i would recommend rolling his first gear first and then his fourth gear but you might even roll his fourth gear first just because of the utility of those three skills helping out his offense and his uh, defense and survivability super uh, nice synergistic trio. So we're still a bit behind on the cooldown, 46%, 48%. He's tier 1, guys, so we need to remember that this is not uh, the way that we're supposed to use characters, but he's just so good, and his healing passive, his healing factor passive also has the all defense down. It applies at tier 1. So I'm just, I'm just curious, how good is a tier 1 Sabertooth, a gear 15 Sabertooth? I know World Boss Ultimate is not made for these types of characters, but I just want to see... We're going to try level 1. Uh, I don't know. if can, can any tier 1 character do this? I don't know. I, I, I can't remember the last time that I tried, to be honest. Uh, but he's he's just got a lot of hype surrounding him. And so I want to see uh, if he can match that hype. The debuff is obviously not useful. But Beast's leadership will be. We've got Shuri as well for the team up. Uh, we could even go... No, we couldn't go Nick Fury. I guess Shuri would be the best one. Or someone like Ghost Panther. And then we're just going to go with five uh, of the kind of regular run-of-the-mill strikers. Actually, you know what? He might get hit. Uh, he has immunity on his third skill, so that is nice. Uh, we could go with Killmonger. Yeah. Ooh, Juggernaut. I like that. Okay, I don't want to skew this too much. Juggernaut is also pretty strong, so I don't want to... I don't want to tilt my uh, results here. It is tier one, so we're going to bring in mostly bad strikers. They're not going to do too much damage. And Sabretooth is going to show us exactly what he can do now. This is also a bit of an unfair fight. I don't want to... I'm not going to go for the whole fight. Thanos does get debuff immunity after the first half of the fight. So it does make it harder for someone like... Um, Sabretooth to do damage. But uh, he's able to stack... God, actually, I don't... There's the all defense. There, it just, it just stacks for the first time. The heal is about 2,000. There's the fifth skill. I didn't see a proc happening, but damn, his damage is 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 lit. <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. I I always feel weird laughing on the videos, but uh, let's see the fifth skill with the proc. Okay, not that impressive. It's not that many hits. I think this is maybe why people are more impressed with his uh, output from a CTP of rage because it seems like. Uh, it's pretty good. It's almost a bar. This it seems like the CTP of oh I got debuffed. It seems like the CTP of rage may be better for him. I don't want to. No 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 no. You're not gonna kill me though. That's the thing. Nice try. That heal though. The heal's nice. Uh, it seems to be yeah. Even though he takes maybe I don't know maybe it's because I was against Proxima, but it seems as though he takes less damage than Juggernaut. I don't know. Maybe the immunity. Oh, because he has iframes, I guess. He's got iframe on 5 rather than not having an iframe on 5. Yeah. So you may be able to get away with building uh, Sabretooth less defensively than Juggernaut because of the fact that uh, he has iframes so he doesn't get targeted through that, that fifth skill. Uh, he's got some short iframes. He's got a nice iframe on, on 1. So 5 and 1 seem to be a nice combo. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, I took damage there. I almost died. Wow. No, no debuff for you this time, buddy. That's right. Damn. Damn. Tier 1. Tier 15. I mean, this is this is Stage 1. But if you just want to have fun with Stage 1, or if you're just normally playing Stage 1 anyways, damn. Not a bad investment. I mean, 2,500 crystals is a, is a mega rank-up ticket anyways. 
So, yeah, what's the difference? There's no difference. Damn. Saber Tooth. Saber Thought. Saber Thoughty. I gotta start saying that more often so it catches on, but Saber Thoughty twerking on Thanos' balls and killing him in the process. We got three minutes left. We're actually, at the moment, we're on pace, and I don't know. I didn't see how often the all-defense down was being applied, but it didn't seem to be all that often. No, you're not going to debuff me. Nice try. Ooh, he's fast, too. He's he's fleet of foot. Damn. Is he is he the sleeper pick for this update? Are you kidding me? I mean, we know it's not Warpath. <laughs> okay, all right. Enough. They're going to cry, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no, no. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we survived. Survive, boys. Adapt, overcome. Look at this shit. Tier 1. I know it's level 1. I don't want to exaggerate. This is not level 10, guys. Alert. Report. Kowalski. This is not level 10. This is level 1. I know. But still, he's zipping around. He's giving me, like, Wolverine vibes. Oh, I got a hit. All, all speed down. Man down. I, and I know we're passing the buff back and forth uh, a lot. But I don't even think he has accumulation. He doesn't have accumulation on his second skill. so this is Or his third skill. So this is just raw damage. Ah, I got hit three times. That sucks. Yeah, this is just nice raw damage. And yeah, it's a CTP of energy. Uh, oh, and he's dead. Damn, I'm I'm kind of impressed. Sabretooth? Are you kidding? Wow. And again, like um, woof, like Juggernaut, uh, because he caps or it's because it's quite easy to cap his uh, crit rate and his crit damage. You can definitely get away with an obelisk that had something like, you know, guard break immunity, recovery rate, damage proc, or uh, guard break immunity, max HP, or you could go with max HP and crit rate or crit damage and then proc and then stuff like that. Uh, there's some flexibility for the obelisk. Now, a CTP of energy is nice, but I don't think it's gonna have as much. There doesn't seem to be that many hits. I didn't have time to count them. But uh, one way you can tell if a CTP of energy is going to be better or worse on a character is like this. I'll show you guys. You take you take the character into skill preview uh, and you kind of corner one enemy. You pick a skill that pushes the enemy or you just have the patience to kind of nudge them yourself like this. Uh, and you kind of nudge them into a corner so that they're not going to get hit by anyone else. Is there a skill that pushes more? Um... Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, and then you just go and you count how many hits on all of their skills. I like to start with the fifth skill because, of course, that is the um, the best hit, the best skill. But 42 hits is pretty good. It's not, uh, you know, characters like Cable, characters like Gambit can easily rack up 100 hits. So this is about half. Uh, so you can think about it that way. Uh, there's obviously more to it that that there's more to it than that. But 12 hits on the fourth skill, 42 on the on the the fifth skill, uh, another 13. So you've got about what 62 or 57. Uh, you've got another f six hits, f 65 roughly. Uh, so we're looking at probably roughly 75 hits. So he's not even he's not even totaling 100 hits with all five of his skills. Is a CTP of energy really going to out outperform um, uh, like a crit damage? damage proc with recovery rate i don't i don't know the ignore dodge is really only useful against uh corvus because you don't need it for abx there's no dodge days um and yeah the chain hit is nice 30 percent but when you're only hitting for 40 hits a 30 percent chain hit increase is not going to be as valuable as if you're going to 100 hits because then 100 hits 30 percent of that is at least 30 percent damage i don't know how exactly it calculates chain hit but i i imagine that 40 hits is, is on the lower end of that um, and I wasn't too impressed when I saw the damage with the CTP of energy proc. So I'm speculating now the Rage one is probably going to be a lot better. The Rage CTP. Uh, not only because he has the uh, crit rate and the crit damage. But also because he has the, the chance to increase his crit damage by an additional 100%. So that means your, your cap of 200 will jump to 300. Uh, which then synergizes even more with the Rage CTP. Because every single hit is getting buffed. Uh, and every single hit has that chance to get that 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 crit damage buff. I imagine that if you were to get that perfect timing and you time your CTP of energy with your third skill and your fifth skill and the claw cut 30% chance to increase your crit damage, you will see a huge spike in Sabretooth's damage. But that's very rare, and that might not happen once in a fight for five minutes, whereas with the CTP of Rage, it's much more likely to trigger at least one, sh 
once per rotation of having your damage buffed by 0.9%. And if you guys are wondering again, just to remind you guys, not to rub it in, the CTP of Rage does give you that flat increased damage per 1% of dodge or crit. And we know that we can easily cap Sabretooth's crit rate with his buffs and um, his base stats. And then he also has the crit rate and dodge, which help that. Um, and then you've got the ignore damages, ignore bosses damage decrease. So ignoring the bosses damage decrease on top of having all defense down seems like a pretty scary combo to one two punch for Sabretooth. So I'm actually quite impressed with his damage and his, his his utility. I think he's probably the best tier one crystal character. He definitely outperforms Emma Frost without a uniform tier one. Probably outperforms Adam Warlock, but it's kind of unfair because he's a native tier two at three stars. You have to pay more crystals. It's kind of a weird comparison, but I still would say Cyberthought is better. Uh, and then don't even get me started on Warpath and, and Nightcrawler. Just get that shit out of here. There's no way those characters match up to this guy. So I'm impressed. I'm going to be taking him to tier two on the live stream uh, tonight. And then we're going to see, or last night, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. And then we're going to see just how bonkers this dude goes when he's all jacked and roided out with Uru and everything. And then possibly level 70. So let me know what you guys think of Saber Thought. I'm quite hype, actually. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.